In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record or capture your BIOS Windows slice screen or your Windows boot up process. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to take a screenshot of your BIOS to a USB pen drive. Let's get it. This video is sponsored by us, so if you like our content and would love to support the channel, please head over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash LMTechHD or click on the first link in the description box below to be a part of the Wemo squad. Thanks. What's going on guys, I'm Ryan from LM Tech HD and on this channel we do a lot of tutorials slash tech reviews and giveaways so if you're new here consider subscribing. Now before we get into the video, I would like to wish each and every one of you a happy happy new year first and foremost and a big thank you to each and every one of you who watch our videos and subscribe to the channel and even stayed subscribed guys, you guys are the real MVP. Thanks a lot and with your help and support, we are going to do big things this year so keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now let's get into the video. In order for you to record your bios, you are going to need a few things. 1. The system with the BIOS you want to record of course. 2. Another PC running Windows to capture the boot up process. You're also going to need a capture device. Now this is a $15 USB video capture device. I'll be making a video on this guy soon so keep an eye out for that. Next you're going to need an HDMI cable and finally we will need a software to record the entire process. In this case we are going to be using OBS. Alright guys the first thing we want to do is to download OBS. This is a free software we're going to be using to record the entire process. Like I said, the link will be in the description. Once the download is complete, go ahead and install OBS. Click finish to launch the application. Before we start recording, we need to make sure a few things are in place. So go to settings and click on video. And make sure the base canvas resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. And the output resolution is also set to 1920 by 1080. And the frame rate is set to 30. Once that is done, the next thing we want to do is to add our capture device. Now unplug the HDMI cable from your monitor and hook it up to the HDMI video capture device. Hook up the HDMI video capture device to the other PC running Windows. So basically what we have is the capture device connected to the tablet running Windows and the HDMI cable that was connected to the monitor hooked up to the capture device and the other end of the HDMI cable hooked up to my PC's graphics card. Now we are going to add the capture device in OBS. To do that, click the plus button to add a scene. You can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to type PC and click OK. Now we are going to add a source on the PC. So with PC selected, I'm going to click on the plus button on the source and select video capture device. I'm going to name it HDMI and click OK. Once you click OK, this window will pop up. Go to device and click on the drop down to select your capture device. If your capture device is hooked up and it's not listed here, then restart OBS. After selecting your device, you can also make a few changes here. You could change the resolution FPS type from device default to custom. Now you can choose the resolution and FPS you want but I'm gonna leave mine as device default and click OK. Alright now we can see the desktop of my PC but there is a problem. My tablet resolution is 2160 by 1440 which is higher than 1080p. That's why it's not taking up the entire scene so to fix that simply right click on the scene and click on transform and click on fit to scene or ctrl f and you're golden. 
Now it's time for the good stuff. Click on start recording in OBS. And I'm gonna restart the PC. And I'm gonna keep pressing the delete key on the keyboard hooked up to the PC to boot into the BIOS or UEFI. Once you've successfully boot into the BIOS, you can go ahead and do whatever you want while OBS records the entire process. Once you're done, hit the F10 key on the keyboard to save changes and restart or hit the escape key to quit without saving. When you're done, simply hit the stop recording button in OBS. To view the file, simply open File Explorer, click on Videos, and your videos should be there. But if for some reason the files were saved elsewhere, then go to OBS Settings, and click on Output. And that will show you where the file is saved. Alright guys, so that's how you record or capture your BIOS Windows slash screen. Next, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take a screenshot of your BIOS to a USB pen drive. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, then do me a favor by clicking the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you're feeling pumped, then go ahead and share it with your friends as well. Now, question of the day, how do you record or capture your BIOS Windows slash screen? Let me know in the comment section below. Alright guys, if you want to take a screenshot, then you're gonna need a USB pen drive or flash drive. And no, you don't need the capture device or another computer to do that. All you need is the USB pen drive. Now go ahead and hook up the pen drive to the PC. Once that is done, next we are going to format the pen drive because we want the format to be FAT32 and not NCFX or XFAT. So open File Explorer and go to this PC. Right click on the pen drive and click on Format. This will pop up. Now under the file system, click on the drop down and change it to FAT32 and click start. Click OK. Alright, we are done. Now restart the system and keep pressing the delete key on the keyboard until it boots into the BIOS or UEFI. Now all BIOS interface are not the same so if you can find the ALT key in your BIOS then do that. It will show you what keys to use or press the F1 key on your keyboard. If you see a window like this one, then you can see that the F12 key is assigned to screenshot. That means, if you press the F12 key, it will take a screenshot of the current window. I'm pretty sure it's the same across all BIOS, but anyways, that's what we're gonna be using to take screenshots, so let's get started. So when you press the F12 key, it will tell you to select a USB device. I only have one external device hooked up to the PC, which is the USB pen drive. However, if you have multiple devices hooked up, please locate the one you formatted and press the enter key on your keyboard. Next, enter the file name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine BIOS01 and press enter. And that is it. The file is now saved to the USB flash drive. But if you get an error message, then make sure your pen drive format is FAT32 and not NTFS. I'm gonna take a couple of screenshots. Um, for example, let's say you want to take a screenshot of your overclock settings. So go to overclock settings and press the F12 key. Select your pen drive and enter the file name and hit enter on your keyboard. When you're done, restart the system. And open File Explorer and go to this PC. Double click on the pen drive and you should find all the screenshots inside. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, drop a comment, share it with your friends, and remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at LMTechHD02. Also check out our online store using the first link in the description box below. We have more videos coming your way, but for now, we maxed out. Peace!